Welcome back to our F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. This is the Russian Grand Prix. In the last race we had out at Monza, we had one of the craziest races I think we've ever had when we were battling with some of the fastest drivers in this game, which was absolutely insane. And today we've got some big, big upgrades coming to the car, which might make us even faster. However, before we get into that, I did want to let you know we have a sponsor for today's episode. Episode, and that's our friends over at Thrustmaster. This is the brand new Thrustmaster Ferrari SF1000 wheel and it is the coolest racing wheel I have ever used. If you haven't seen the SF1000 racing wheel before, it has this massive screen on it that can show you pretty much anything from the game you're playing, which is so, so sick. It has all of these different modes and every single dial on this thing actually works. If you do want to check out the SF1000 racing wheel for yourself, click the link in my description. Thank you so much to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video. We've actually got Thrustmaster logos on the car in the game. It is super, super cool. This livery is so sick. Anyways though, right off the bat of today's episode, we have an aerodynamics department event. So let's see what's going on. There was an accident at the gym this morning. A member of the aerodynamics department was hurt. Blah, blah, blah. What should we do? Close the gym for a day so we can invest in improvements for our second dri driver? Okay. So he loses experience or a thousand team acclaim. No, we, we got to lose the team acclaim. I cannot Thanks. lose seven experience points for Jack Aitken, who's a rookie. After that annoying event, though, we now have nine days on our activity timeline. So how do we want to spend it? Yes, definitely department morale because we're working on so many upgrades. That's going to be very, very important. Let's also go for weight training for Jack Aitken. Brings up his pace. In the last episode, Jack Aitken had a little bit of a pace problem. So let's do that. Then let's chuck three days on driver PR filming. And then we've got one day more acclaim. Perfect. I think last but not least, we finally come to our R&D tree where we are bang on in the middle of the pack. We're closing into Alpine in front of us. We've overtaken Alpha Tauri, which is just insane. And we've got a whole bunch of resource points to do even more upgrades. So let's see. Oh, okay. Apparently we can go and fix that upgrade, which we're definitely going to do. That actually helps out our tire wear. I also noticed this upgrade that's 50% off right now. That is definitely worth it for less than 600 resource. Oh no. All right. We'll come back to that. Finally, powertrain. Any upgrades we can do in here? We're working on one. That's a free upgrade. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Apparently we're working on so many upgrades. We literally cannot do any others. So I guess without further ado, there we go. Advance the time. That is a powertrain upgrade done. Now we can get that free one finally onto the car. No way. We've got the second fastest engine right now. And you know what? I think that's everything we can do right now. Right now, we're really just struggling in terms of money. We need to start upgrading some of our facilities to spec level two so we can do more upgrades to our car for right now, though, we're almost maxed out. Anyways, though, with all of that stuff done, I'm going to go hit up the circuit for a little bit of practice, get some more resource points, and then I'll rejoin with you guys in a second for qualifying. So welcome to Russia for a little bit of qualifying. We had an awesome practice session. We were able to get a ton of resource points, which was really awesome. So hopefully in the next couple of episodes, we can continue to upgrade the car a little bit more. However, before we do get onto our qualifying lap, I don't know if I've shown this off before. So take a look at the screen, depending on what mode I've got it in, it'll actually show different things like my tire wear right now, 2% on my front left. I can see all of my different tire temperatures, which I'm cooling them down right now. I can see my engine wear, my gearbox is only 2% worn right now. It's it's so cool how all of that stuff is is right there. So just a heads up, if you do ever see me looking down at my racing wheel, I'm looking at something to do with my car, usually with the tire temperatures and stuff like that. Anyways, we need an awesome qualifying session out here today. We had a really, really good one out in Monza. 
hopefully we can do something similar. I know I've said this before, but Rush is actually one of those circuits that I know a lot of people don't like in real life. Sometimes it doesn't really produce the best races, but for me, I absolutely love this place. I find it such a flowy circuit and so, I don't know, it's just a really good circuit for me. We actually have the same engine in the car as we did in the last episode at Monza, and that engine is brand new, super, super fast, so who knows, maybe we might actually get a good result today, we'll see. Here we go though, final corner, do not bottle it to the line. 0.6 seconds off the pace. That doesn't sound too bad. We'll head back to the garage, get the car ready to go for the second lap. We'll get some new soft compound tires ready to go. No way, we got destroyed by my teammate. What? What is going on with the qualifying right now? We beat Kimi Raikkonen, George Russell destroyed Latifi, but somehow my teammate has just out-qualified Sergio Perez. There is no way we're letting Jack Aitken take us down. I'm gonna do my second qualifying lap with no talking. We have gotta nail this. Like, I, I cannot start in P17, no way. Well, that was a pretty good lap. I had an awesome sector one and two where I caught right up to the back of Jack Aitken, but kind of messed up in sector three. I wasn't really happy with sector three there but we do go way faster that time. Let's see where we finish. You, you gotta tell me, I took down my teammate. No way, we only move up to P14 with that, and Jack Aitken out qualifies us. He's starting up in P11, and take a look at P1, P2, it's Lewis and Max. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 it's it's basically snowing out here. How am I even gonna get around this? This has gotta be a full wet race. I mean, who knows, maybe some people are gonna have some penalties considering it's basically snowing. Max Verstappen has a penalty for the Russian Grand Prix. How accurate is that? Anyways, Lewis Hamilton starting up in P1. His teammate Valtteri Bottas down in P4. Max is starting up in P8, so not a massive penalty from him. We move up to P10. Our teammate takes a penalty, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping he would have timed that one a little bit better. We've got Lando Norris behind us. There's the two Williams. There is my teammate alongside Pierre Gas and then Haas, as it turns out, still pretty slow. Oh boy, well somebody is definitely gonna blow up their car, so I'm turning the fuel right the way down because we're definitely getting a safety car in this weather. I do not want to spin this car out. Clutch is in, very little on the gas. And away we go for the Russian Grand Prix. Early shifts off the line try to keep it in a straight line, then get on the gas nicely. Roll on it, roll on it. Somebody tried to look at my inside there. That was very dangerous from Gio Venazzi as he tried to make that move stick. I'm getting on the brake so early. I can barely see anything out here. This is, this is ridiculous. I'm doing 50. I've actually got a run on Lance Stroll. Up the inside, actually. Lance Stroll, very, very slow. Apparently, he hesitates on a damp bit of circuit there. We've got yellow flags behind. It is Lance Stroll. What has happened to him? Lance Stroll is going extremely slowly. Lance is tiptoeing around the circuit right now and allowing me to run away in P10 right now. We've got a 5.4 second gap to Lance. 5.8 second gap. He's not even letting his teammate pass. What is Lance doing? That's now a seven second gap, 7.3. Oh, wow. Wow. This is actually ridiculous. If I get on the power, even a little bit, this car will be backwards, without a doubt. With lap number one in the books now, Lance Stroll is 13 seconds behind. Finally, his teammate gets past as Lance jumps into the pits after ruining basically the race for half the grid. That is insane. All I know is I've got Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez in front of me. I shouldn't really be able to catch up to either of them, but there are some slower guys. Like I see Yuki Tsunoda up there and maybe he'll hold up both of the Red Bulls, who knows? Right now I'm 1.6 seconds behind Sergio Perez in front of me. Let's see if I can close that in over the next couple of laps as I gain some confidence with this car. I definitely think we need to stay on this tire a bit longer, but there's no question that the track is drying. We might be in a position to change soon. 
Jeff, what are you saying? I'm, ju I'm just gonna ignore him and keep putting some distance into this car and see if I can catch up to Checo. It's not going too badly. I'm kind of holding for right now. Come on, I gotta get Perez. Please, please get me up to P9. Oh, look at the slipstream. Look at the slipstream on Perez. We're not gonna do it here. We're gonna do it on the big straight where I go purple through sector two. Come on, close in a little bit more. Come on, Perez. Am I gonna send it? Are we close enough to make a move happen? Up the inside on Sergio Perez's Red Bull. Hold him off through the switchback left-hander. We got him, P9 for the AR12 Motorsports car. Yes, that, that did take me nine laps to do one overtake, but um, it was a pretty tough one. A very tough one. Now in front of us though, we have Max Verstappen, who's being held up by Yuki Tsunoda still. So there's there's still a chance that we can get him. So you know what? Let's do the exact same thing again. Put some distance into this car. Do not allow that man to go for one. And I wanna see if I can get Verstappen. No way can I get the other Red Bull. The very next lap, we are absolutely flying around the outside on Max Verstappen. It is a literal copy-paste overtake. And I, I think the only person I can thank for that one is Yuki Tsunoda, who slowed down those Red Bulls enough for me to be able to catch up. Take a look at the mini-map. You can see where the other guys are, the really fast guys, and they've pulled away by miles. If it wasn't for these guys in front, there's no way I would have got those two Red Bulls. That is crazy. All right, well, for now, though, we got to keep going. That's a new personal best lap time. We've got Yuki Tsunoda in front of us. He definitely shouldn't be so difficult to overtake. So let's see what I can do. Oh, in other news, we are now officially at the halfway point of the Grand Prix. So if anybody is going to pit for a two pit stop strategy, I mean, I, I, I don't know why they would. Our tires are doing literally just fine. But if anybody is gonna make that brave and very stupid call, it'll probably be this lap or the next lap. For me though, right now, I'm still trying to catch up to Yuki Tsunoda. He's actually proving a little bit more difficult to keep up with than I originally thought. Also, Sergio Perez managed to overtake Max Verstappen, so don't know how that happened. Okay, so update, we're up to lap 20 in this Grand Prix now and I'm still struggling to catch up to Yuki Tsunoda. Max Verstappen has jumped into the pits on lap number 20. M maybe he sees something we don't know about. Sergio Perez had a problem with his car as well, and he's now eight seconds back. I think he's got some engine trouble. I'm also dropping back from Yuki Tsunoda. We are not having a good time over here for Honda Squad. Jeff, you you are just wrong and annoying today. Honestly. What's the problem now? The engine is just fine. The whole car is fine. We have nothing to worry about. We can confirm that it's an issue with our engine. Okay, touch wood. Seems like the fault has resolved itself. You wishy-washy! Come on. Close in. Close in. We're looking good. On lap 24 of the Grand Prix, Sonoda blocks the inside. We're gonna send it the long way round through the right-hander, get it slowed down in time. That was sketchy. The car didn't want to slow down. Work. That you up the place. Ooh, P7, let's go. We are properly fighting for these right now. Alcon doesn't have anybody in front of him to slipstream off of. So if I can keep this pace up for the next lap or so, and not do that, I might be able to get him. Onto the back of Akon, he's fast. He's so quick out of the corners. We've pulled away from Sonoda though. We're closing in on Esteban Akon. Now is not the time. If we're gonna make that move, we've gotta make it stick and make it safe. If we spin out now, I'm gonna cry. There's only two laps left to go. Come on, AR12 Motorsports car. I've got to fly. Every single point we put into R&D, I need it to pay off right now. Come on. This is it. We're going on to the final lap of this Grand Prix. We need everything. Everything right now. Please. Come on. Gain. I'm within half a second already. Close in. Turn the battery off. 
stomp on the brake. Don't go into the back of Esteban Archon. We're looking good. Stomp on the brake. Through. Easy. Easy. Battery up. Go. 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 Come on. Get him. Where are we going? We're going the... We hit Archon. I broke my wing. I broke my wing. He's looking up the inside. He's not going to be happy. After I crashed into him. I'm... I'm Sorry, I didn't get a penalty. I got him. The amount of rain on my screen right now. I can barely see anything. But I've got Archon. Two more corners to go. My, my, my wing's broken. I've got no performance. Block the corner. Get there. Get there. Got there. P6 for AR12 Motorsport. I mean, I'm probably going to get punched out today, if I'm honest, by Esteban Ocon. That was the most stressful race I think we've ever had. That is a big victory for Lewis Hamilton, though, because Lewis picks up full points for that. And I don't think Max Verstappen even finished in the points, so he's going to pull away like crazy. GG Lewis. No way, though. Take a look at that. Basically, nobody except for Max Verstappen went into the pits. Oh, never mind. There were some other people. Giovinazzi, Lance Stroll, and Fernando Alonso. Meanwhile, my teammate, after an awesome qualifying, was only able to finish P16. That sucks. In terms of the standings, though, we're still in P9. Valtteri Bottas overtakes Max Verstappen. Constructors-wise, nothing is changing. The sponsors are loving that one, though so they can pay for my medical bills after Esteban Ocon punches me out. We both picked up damage there. I'm really surprised we didn't even get a safety car. Some huge money in the bank though. I think we will be able to do some very important facility upgrades in the next episode. That though is where we're gonna wrap up this episode of our F1 career mode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe for more. Don't forget to check out our friends Thrustmaster. Click the link in my description and you can check out these wheels for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon with some more F1. See you then. Bye.